Wow, you're beefy. Hmm. Well, I'm a bottom. Hey guys. Before we begin, I'd just like to give huge shoutouts to the people who make all of this possible. My patrons and supporters and subscribers. Especially to Sebastian, Dominic Ruiz, Victor H, Jeremy Shaw, Darius Tan, CC Anthony, Philip, David S. Edwards IV, Gamer, Oz, Jack, Jan Van S, Null, Irregular Inspector, Zax, Titan, Leonis, Abdulila, uh, Ice Trainer, Connor Jacobson, Jose Bernabe, Elizena Russell, Yo-Yo Dre, Father oh, Salhat. Ryder Evans, Sean Thomas, Tim Bobrowski, Fomoran, Kobe Fuselier, Ma, and Thomas Ged. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. This is a sh- this is a lot. There's a lot going on. And I want to thank you guys for deciding to support me. Also to everybody in the in the lower tiers, especially over at the Luncheoneers and the Sweet Samplers. Thanks again for being with me all this time. Anyways, back to the video. Hey guys, California Mike here, doing well, and this was this is a game called Hakianden, which is on Itch.io, I believe. I'm not quite sure actually. I'm gonna have to look back. I'm gonna have to review my notes. But this is made in RPG Maker, and I am kind of glad. Uh, hold up. I'm gonna fix my VTube Studio character model. Give me a sec. The divide key. There we go. That's less likely to be used at a certain scenario. Yeah. There we go. I'm sor sorry for the delay. Anyway, this is our using RPG Maker Control, so it's going to use the arrow keys and ZXC. How do I know this? I've played too many. Too many. And I've tried to program. I tried to make a game. I failed. You know why? Because I'm a sucker. You're starting... But you know, this thing also allows for mouse controls, thankfully. You're starting a new job in this upcoming spring. Because of that, you have to leave your parents' house. You have been packing your stuff for hours. There's still a lot of things to pack. When you look around the room, you find a book. The book is titled Hakyanden, Eight Romance Chronicles. It's a fantasy novel in which Japanese monsters and ogres appear. You read it passionately when you were a kid. You remember that the story is awesome and that there are many... Oh, oi! 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 We don't talk about that on YouTube! Mmm! 18 plus, 16 plus, then in. <laughs> That's why this book has fascinated you, because you're a horny little boy when you were younger. Indulging in nostalgia, you think about the characters you loved. For some reason, you smile a little. You know what? I think I deserve. We have a lot of real estate. I think I can afford to be a little bit bigger. There! Now it's a classic game. You open the book and flip between the pages. Suddenly, the impossible happened. You isekai! Of course you isekai. Why am I not surprised? You fucking isekai. This is what this game's about. It's isekai. Alright. Two arms and- Of course the typical RPG maker sounds. Help! It's bringing flashbacks! Anyway, two arms emerge from the pages and grab hold of your shoulders with a powerful grip. That's a different summoning technique. Usually there's a truck. Hey! <laughs> Those arms pull you inexorably toward the book. You have no time to react or resist. All you can see is pitch darkness. You know, I kind of expected him to get stuck in the book for a bit because I can tell our character will always have a big dumpy. He has to have big dumpy. Because it's a barra game. You feel wind. You feel yourself falling. But strangely, you do not feel fear. Because someone because someone has you preoccupied. Someone's mind fucked you. Yeah? Maybe that's because the wind is warm and carries a nostalgic scent. The scent of Kyom. Embraced by the nostalgia, you close your eyes. Is this real is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. Open your eyes. Look up to the skies and see. Okay, that's enough. Dot 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 You can smell something. Crotch. Smells delicious. 
definitely crotch. You wake up and look around. Something slaps you in the face. It was a crotch. You're in an old house. The interior is old Japanese style, which you, reminds you of a Japanese folktale. There is a thin blanket on you, and you notice that you are sleeping on a... Is it a mattress or a tatami? Or one of those mat that, that you... I'm not, I'm not gonna bother. Oh, you woke up. Well, this is not happening on YouTube. Okay. You look in the direction of a voice and see a muscular person sitting in the floor. Do I have any hope of censoring this? I'll use Dex. Where am I? Who are you? You look handsome. Handsome? Me? You look stupefied. He sees your honest eyes and realize your joke you're not joking. What don't say such things to a stranger with such a cute face? Ah He instantly grows flustered and starts shouting. Well, let's have dinner. I made enough food for the both of us. Could you explain what I'm doing here? I'm not complaining, but I'd like some details. He pours something from a pot into a wooden bowl and gives it to you. Eat it. My friends always say my cocking, I uh, cooking, cooking, cooking. I say cooking is very good. <laughs> the bowl has a thick soup with a lot of. Hmm. I wonder what the soup is. Hmm. I bet it's creamy. Mmm, it's kind of salty. Yay! You relax as the warmth of the soup spreads through your body. You see that the woodcutter is also eating. How did you know it was a woodcutter? There was no discussion. Hold on. There are plot points that need to be discussed. While eating, he starts asking you various questions. What is your name? You answer your name. Oh, the way the dialog box came out to type a uh, something. Hold on. My name is... My name is Coxpangle. Yeah. Coxpan? That's a strange man. Is that really your name? Nah. Don't make fun of older people. What's your real name? Um Ding Dong. I cannot write Spangle, so I'm just gonna write Ding Dong. Well there are very well, there are various parents in the world. By the way, where were you sleeping in the forest? You explain what... Okay, we only have two chances to enter a name. You explain what happened honestly while flipping through the pages you were pulled into a book. The next moment, you fainted and woke up here. Oh no, it sounds like you hit your head bad. He doesn't believe you at all. You can understand how he'd feel. Such an unrealistic thing couldn't happen. You look down. He sees that you are disappointed. It taps his shoulder. Maybe something strange happened. Take a rest here until you remember more. He tells you to lie down on the mattress. Take off your weird clothes. They're covered with dirt. I shall wash them tomorrow. You get naked and wrap yourself up with a blanket. You try to sleep. However, various questions possible and problems disturb your rest. What happened? How can you get back home? Why is he like this? And can I eat that? Can I eat you? I would like a sample. Yeah. I say nothing. You can't possibly sleep with those questions running through your head. Can't sleep, I'm going to put out the candle. He puts you away in your clothes and turns off for the light. You can hear him walking. Next you hear the rustle clothes. Maybe he's... Oh, wow. He lies down right next to you. Are you kidding me? You just met me! Unless it's the only bed. Mmm. What a predicament. Whatever shall we do? All you can hear are the sounds of his breathing and the Kikada song outside. He is fidgeting next to you. I don't think that's fidgeting. If I know my writing classes, that's not fidgeting. If I know Tumblr and Archive of Our Own and Wattpad, that's not just fidgeting. Hey, suddenly you hear his low voice near you. He moves his body next to you. You feel his warmth. Can you play? Oh, fuck, I knew it. <laughs> no. Yes, but not for YT. You know why? Because I'm leave saving this for PH and XV. <laughs>
Okay, if anyone does, isn't aware of what happened, uh, I there were segments where I had to go like this. Warm rays of light shine into the room, and you wake up, smells good. Morning, breakfast is ready. He feeds you breakfast like dinner last time. He seems fun to take care of you. Wah, thank you. He's waiting for you to speak. My name? Didn't I tell you? Sorry, my name's Moritane. Why are you so surprised? It's not... It is not a common name, but it's not that surprising, is it? You're surprised because his name is the same as the character in ha Hakinden's name. You suddenly understand what happened. You weren't just sucked towards a book, you got pulled into it. Into the world of the story, but that's unbelievable. You ask the name of the province you're in. Amino province. Amino assets. You realize That's where you get the muscles. You realize that you entered the book's world. You stare at Moritana's face and you manage while reading the book. He's really handsome. You're a weird guy. Okay, now I'll start my work. It's only carving wood today. You ask how you can help him. I can do it by myself. Oh, can you go to the forest and pick up branches? That sounds like something that's gonna... Hold up. That sounds like some... That sounds like I'm gonna get ra... Uh, that sounds like the perfect chance to um take advantage of me. Okay, I think I fixed it. Okay. Forest. Why are you surprised? There are zombies everywhere. They're very slow, so you can run away easily. You feel a little fear, but also excitement. That's because the situation is similar to that of Hakenden. The summer of Hakenden's like this. A woodcutter named Moritani found a small shrine in the forest near his house. There was a special mirror called the Yata, Yata Mirror. The Yata Mirror can reflect incoming disasters. Moritani shared stared at them I can't edit the settings from here it's kind of loud give me a sec the Yatamir can reflect oncoming disasters Maritana shared that stared at the Yatamir and it showed the upcoming large-scale war between two provinces Maritana gathered seven men from the two provinces and prevented the war the two provinces started cooperating in friendship, and the world became peaceful. This is the summary. You plan to bring the Yatamir back to Moritane's house. That will make the story proceed. When the story ends, maybe you can go back to its original world. Strike while the iron is hot. You carry a ba a bucket? A basket? Head to the forest. When you leave the house, Moritane speaks to you. Don't go deep in the forest. Once you get tired, come back anytime. Leaving Moritane to worry about you, you head towards the forest. Oh, that's us. Sunlight filters through the foliage. The temperature is high, but the shade makes it feel cooler. The trees are covered in fresh berries. You steadily collect branches. You hear a soft sound behind the trees. The sound grows louder and louder. When you turn around, you see a man. No, it's something that was once human. The face is pale. You know what? Showtime. Zombie walks towards you unsteadily. His body is muscular, so maybe he was a samurai, but as Moritani said, he moves slowly. You can run away. Is it possible to beat him? Enemies in the early stages of any story are always weak, just like climbs a goblin, so probably be knocked out a few punches. Are you serious? I need a minute. Are you serious? This is really how you're gonna approach it? Felt like hitting rubber. Zombie didn't seem to feel it. The zombie grabs your shoulder with unexpected speed. He's trying to pull your body, but he's too strong. He grabs your arms and bites into it with sharp teeth. He bit off a chunk of my skin. We're dead. Something swung down on his head with a dull sound. Zombie rocks and falls down. Monk wearing a Buddhist ro priest robes and s staff is standing behind the zombie's body. Hello. Wow, you're beefy. Hmm. Mm, you should have done that with the beginning. His face looks strong and has slit like sharp eyes. The monk speaks to him with a low voice. Let me see your arm. He grabs your arm. Your arm, unbelievably, no wound. How odd, he bit off some of your flesh for sure. 
You seem to have a special power. We must appreciate gifts from. <laughs> he puts his palms together and bows to you. Why was your wound healed? You consider it and quickly come to an answer. It must be because this event never happened in the book. You're not a character in the book, so you cannot be injured. That's. That is the dumbest. Sorry, I'm sorry. I have to cut in. That is the dumbest reasoning I have ever seen, in my life. Okay. You seem to be a novice in combat. I'm worried about your future because zombies are really weak. Your wounds are healed instantly, but you feel pain, right? The pain will impair your mind and impact your ability to control yourself. That'd be horrible. In order to avoid that, you should learn how to protect yourself. Based on your looks, you must have been living in a peaceful area. It's almost impossible for you to learn the combat skills you need to live in this time of war. Don't get depressed. I've told you these things because I have a solution. What is the solution? Use your body. He grabs your backside. It suddenly unbecomes. Oh, wow. Are we. Yo, are we really? I'm ready. Bring it. Tough looking samurai, zombies, beasts, even specters and demons, they're all men. A lot of wars are happening. The number of women reduced every species. The men are always driven by less. You can reconcile them if you can convince them to vent their less. You have a charming body, no. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. You have a charming body. Please consider that to protect yourself. My name is Fushikimo. Fushikumo. I'm a traveling monk. I hope we can meet again somewhere. Wait, that's it? No, no, no. Come on. You can learn how to seduce enemies. <laughs> enemies' maximum sanity is always 100, and you can reduce their sanity with... <laughs> oh, no. Well, since we're safe. For now. Sorry, I don't have a... I think I have a hotkey that I can set. There we go. But for now, if, if the enemy's sanity drops to zero, you'll win. In contrast, if your sanity drops to zero, I'm already losing my mind. What do you mean? I'm already losing my mind. This is some dumb shit. <laughs> you'll be returned to the beginning of the current location if you go back into the forest. You hear some strange noises. Take a peek. You peek from a bush and see two men. One guy's taller, the other. <laughs> the Kagame Inn is called an inn, but it's actually a brothel. I'd like a room. I would like a room. This is a brothel. Hey, you came here to have fun with <laughs> guys, right? Well, tall, muscular. He seems to be in his late twenties. You shake your head and tell him that you came here to meet the owner. Let's speak elsewhere. There are tables and chairs. You and he sit on facing each other. What's your name? Ding Dong. Let's start the interview. Implies it. He replies to your question politely. You want to meet the owner to be asked to be hired as staff, right? Then don't be surprised, I'm the owner. You must be Fujiyasu. You're relieved to find him, but frustrated that he's misunderstanding. You try to tell him you're not here to become his ho, but you're... Don't say anything, because in the interview it's already finished. You passed. He keeps talking. Is that strange? Doesn't mean I hire everybody. My staff are all extremely beautiful, charming, and attractive. So why did you pass the interview? He didn't ask anything, but he continues to talk. Because you look so cute. What? You're amazed. I was surprised to see you from the window. Such a cute boy wants to hire? In fact, you want hired. I'll teach you the skills needed for a job. Don't worry, we can start the lesson now. Alright, time to get back at... Time to get back to work! <laughs> What's with this listing? Do we... Can we transform? That's a little concerning. <laughs> have the power to transform. That's a little concerning. I don't need that details. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's a little too much details. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> that's enough. Well, I think... I think that's enough for now. <laughs> that was a lot to handle. But I want to say thank you guys, everybody. Thank you, everybody. For joining... Oh. Thanks everybody for joining me on this one. This was... 
something. <laughs> right, I better get back to editing and such. But it's good to have a little episode in advance. It's just gonna take a lot of editing. Anyways, bye for now.